in a real way, the Catholic Church is united to heaven even while still on earth. It's the place where God's saving power flows from into the whole world. It's the place where we come to know God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And it arrives on the scene of human existence, not by men and women plotting to do some good in the world, but by the living God seeking to save the world, by sending the Holy Spirit down upon persons to establish a place to give the message of salvation along with its saving remedies, the sacraments. In this process, Christ chose feeble men and women who could relate to the whole human race, for all men and women need the mercy of God to bind their wounds and to be cared for in the inn of the bosom of the church, the place where people are made whole and experience the love of the Eternal Father. Our hearts are chained to her by free will, by the taste of God's saving love. Where else shall we go, Peter says. And Peter did not say these words because he calculated every other place to go, but it's because he experienced God's eternal love for him in a real personal encounter. He seen the world, he lived in the world, and Christ's love drew him out of it to taste his eternal love in this particular place. Nothing compared. And often we sit in gratitude and marvel at God's love for us and all he has done for us. And we remain. And we sit and marvel at God truly present in the tabernacle. Nothing compares. Yes, in the Catholic Church, there is every spiritual blessing in the heavens that allows the soul to be at peace in the midst of everything. And this allows us to evaluate what must be done for our salvation and the salvation of our brothers and sisters. Not by running around and doing this and that. Those things will come after. But by worshiping Christ reverently, sincerely, in the new eternal covenants, as the one thing necessary above all else. For our salvation comes from the power of God, who works through the sacraments. Bishop Athanasius Snyder, when he was a child receiving First Holy Communion, was instructed by these words by his mother and a priest. You will receive your Savior and God in this little host. And he is living there. He is living. Be careful. He is living. And this is your Lord. <laughs>